Hello, this tutorial is about speed, rendering speed, rendering time. And it's dealing only with one parameter, which you find here under this icon. Or if you go to rendering here, you find it here. Render, rendering settings. Render settings. We have the common tab, which gives you the resolution option here, like in my case 960 to 540. Let's actually maintain the width and height uh, and set it to, well, 1600 by 901 in this case. Uh, here, so I have a bigger resolution to render. And here I have the Arnold renderer, which gives us a parameter which is called camera anti-aliasing. And I currently set it to minus 10. That's an odd number because anti-aliasing usually starts at one and then you can raise it up to the ultimate uh, ultimate values which we'll see uh, it doesn't make sense really but uh, currently it's set to minus 10 and now we render this scene rendering is done in less than a second that's what this value shows us resolution is 1600 the perspective shape is the camera which is being rendered rendered and the samples are minus 10 to two 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 so that's the image you have. And now I show you what anti-aliasing means. Let's have a look at Wikipedia first. You have anti-aliasing here and uh, it may refer to any number of techniques to combat the problems of aliasing in a sample signal, which is true enough. And uh, what we're dealing with here in computer animation is the super sample anti-aliasing. And it uh, tells you super sampling is a spatial anti-aliasing method that is a method used to remove aliasing from images rendered in computer games or other computer programs that generate imagery. Aliasing occurs, and now that's crucial, because unlike real-world objects which have continuous smooth curves and lines, well, computer-generated imagery have pixels, little dots, and you have to deal with the uh, edges of the of structures, etc. That's called anti-aliasing. Let's increase the camera anti-aliasing to the default setting, which is 3. So that's the default setting. That's the numbers down here. It's 22222 and the first number is the anti-aliasing number, which was at minus 10 and which will be at 3 now. So we're rendering again. The other values here, like diffuse specular transmission and subsurface scattering, are not important for us because or volume indirect because we don't have clouds we don't have uh, leaves with a subsurface uh, shader the main thing is really the cleaning up the pixels with anti-aliasing so it took 35 seconds to render now let's go closer to our object right here to the feet and render this again And you see that the samples are set to 1, 2, 2, 2, etc. You see the cleaning up process right here now, probably down here in just a few moments. Yes, now it's cleaned up. So that's how Arnold renders these kind of scenes. And it will be done very soon. If you render a whole sequence of a thousand images, of course, that takes time. You better do this overnight or give the file for rendering to a friend of yours. So let's fast forward it now. 1 minute and 11 seconds. So that's a pretty good uh, image here. We don't see real problems in terms of um, graininess here, so we can stick to that value. Maybe we can reduce it to 2. That's dependent on your scene and the quality you want to render. 3 is the default value which is a, always a good start and uh, for lighting evaluations you can go even lower to negative values. What I want to do now to give uh, Arnold a little bit more work to, to do during rendering is change the shadow softness of my spotlight. I uh, select the spotlight now and here is the that's a spotlight it has an Arnold section and under the Arnold section you have a radius which is currently set to zero meaning the uh, shadows are totally sharp so if we raise this value to 
well, 2.6 or something like that, we get nice soft shadows and the anti-aliasing has to uh, work quite a bit now because we have all this, this graininess in the shadow. If you have soft shadows, you need to raise the anti-aliasing parameter uh, maybe to values like 5 in order to get rid of the graininess there. In order to evaluate the shadow, you can do the following. You go to View and create a test resolution, which is not 100% but 200%. So you get much more detail now, and you can use the mouse navigation tools like middle mouse and uh, alt key in order to uh, navigate in that uh, picture and now you can go to this icon here which enables you to select a certain area for example only this area here so only this area will be rendered and here you can evaluate if the anti-aliasing settings are okay for you or if you want to have more or less it's almost done it's done now this looks not too bad. Let's raise this to a ridiculous number like 10. It takes much, much longer to render, even though it's only this small portion of the whole image. So let me fast forward here again. I recently rendered another image in the evening and I typed in the number 5 in the camera anti-aliasing the image was uh, very large like 12,000 pixels wide and next morning it was still rendering and I was puzzled why that was and the reason was I mistyped the 5 by 53 so of course it takes ages until it's finished probably a week or so So this segment is now finished, 2 minutes and 27 seconds. And I think the difference to the previous one is not that drastic, or maybe not visible at all. So we can stick to a lower value and maybe go to a value 2. Which renders very fast. It's done now, 5 seconds. What a difference. And of course you see some graininess right here, which you can rid, get rid of by uh, raising it to 4 maybe. It depends on what kind of detail you want the people to look at. If you have a an animation, so a sequence of images, uh, this is not so crucial anyway, because the pixels move uh, 24 times per second. So. This is uh, for still images, you need to raise the anti-aliasing value quite a bit. But this is fine too, 20 seconds. And I can barely see any noise here in the shadow of this object. So let me render the whole scene. Anti-aliasing in action. It's amazing how the new rendering software generations do that. V-Ray the same, Mental Ray of course the same, all very sophisticated. Look at this shadow, how it slowly fades into a grayish tone here. Anti-aliasing low and cleaning up pixels is basically anti-aliasing. And I wish you a nice day and keep an eye on this parameter here under Render Settings in the Arnold tab, Camera Anti-Aliasing. Bye bye. Yes, after finishing the tutorial, I loaded this image up to Wiki Commons. Here it is. In all its beauty, anti aliasing bottom left, no anti aliasing uh, top right. And I built it into the articles about anti aliasing, about super sample anti aliasing. Here it is. And into the German Wikipedia as well. So feel free to use this image for other languages of Wikipedia.